Hey, good morning, Hope Community Church. Uh, last couple of weeks, I've just really been reflecting on how does God see what's going on in our world? And I, I think of how many things uh, just break his heart, the injustice, uh, where we see somebody's life uh, being taken away, um, see multiple lives being taken away. And, and yet in the midst we see goodness and, and we see people standing up for one another and we see people saying, God, we, we want your kingdom, we want righteousness here. And, and make no doubt, you and I have been called to engage in battle. And But I, I want to remind us of, of how God has called us to to engage in battle and, and where we begin. And the psalmist in uh, Psalm 10, verse 16, he begins with this. It's, he says, The Lord is king forever and ever, and the nations perish from his land. In other words, God is king. God is Lord. He, he hasn't abandoned his throne uh, it's still his kingdom that we pursue. It's his kingdom principles that we that we live under. And so when we see injustice, we need to speak out. Um, and, and we need to do it as kingdom people. And the, the psalmist continues and says, O Lord, you hear the desires of the afflicted. As we're praying, as we're speaking, those prayers are going before the throne room, room of God. And, and it says, you hear the desires of the afflicted, and you will strengthen their heart, and you will incline your ear to do justice. He's going to do justice to a couple of people here. He says, to the fatherless, um, that's that's orphans, um, and, and, and the church is to care for, for widows and orphans. He says, to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed. Um, God hears the cries of the oppressed. He hears our prayers towards the oppressed, and God will act. And we are even called to act. We're, we're not to just look at the fatherless and say, oh God, we hope you do something, but, but we are called to care for them personally. We're called to stand by the oppressed, those that are, that are afflicted. Uh, those that those that are being wrong um, and it says so that the man who is of the earth may strike terror no more man of the earth that is somebody that um, we would say is, is worldly that has his mind only on this kingdom that that we're praying God do justice as we seek justice as we seek justice for the fatherless and for the oppressed that those who, whose mind are only on uh, the physical and, and not the spiritual as, as well, that they may strike terror no more. Lord, I pray that, that you heal our land, that, that your church will rise up, that we will be uh, men and women of God that advance the kingdom, live under your kingdom principles, and that we would love the fatherless and we would stand by the oppressed. We love you in Christ's name. Amen.